Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to once again another high packed episode. High packed episode? Another high packed quality action night super mega Wednesday action of Team Fortress 2. It's Vanilla TV here. Once again, it is week 5 in the ETS2L Premiership. You should know that already. We have the Champions Epsilon looking to stay undefeated, taking on. Skidmark Central. I am Scully, and if I move my co-caster co Hayden in with me, which I forgot to do, he can say hello. One second. Hayden, say hello to the stream. Oh, hi. There we go. How you doing? <laughs> There's the stream. Sorry, I forgot to move you in, and I did such an amazing start, and you, you missed it, so... <laughs> I apologize. Okay. So, hi. It is, yeah, it, hi again, yeah. <laughs> hi. It's Crack Clan versus Skidmark Central. The champions versus... Basically, BFF or whatever they call themselves now. So, we're looking for quite an interesting night of action, especially being that it's process. What do you know about process? Oh, just process is just phenomenal to watch. I, I don't understand, like, they, just the, the majority of the TF2 community loves it. Then there's just a few people that don't. And to those people that don't, I, they have horrible map choice. Like, it's just awesome. Like, I, just yeah, I absolutely brilliant map. I don't know why people can dislike it. I, I've got to admit, I do enjoy it. I did enjoy it when I played it. Um, very fast action, back and forth, back and forth. But I just prefer it. It's just the way it plays out. And yeah, it's just the last different time to I, most yeah. maps. Only problem is the last time I did cast this was like Epsilon were just were wiping so bad that they were like camping base because they were wiping out people on mid so fast. So <laughs> let's, let's hope, uh, hope that doesn't, that doesn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let, let's be honest. With a few weeks, with like three weeks left, including this week, Epsilon look like if they win this, they should secure the, the number one slot, or if anything, secure any chance of them being in the playoffs. So they should be there. But for, for uh, skin marks, they are looking to try and get that last spot. And when you look at the tables, which I shall just get up, I did look at them earlier, and I totally yeah, I looked at to them look last night. I believe it's like Crack Clan and Epsilon are tied for like the top uh, spaces. Yes. Yeah. I mean, surely Epsilon are going to take it. Kind of not losing a game for almost a year is slightly insane. Well, they lost one map during the finals of the last season, which is very, which was a, quite a shock. But um, when you look at it, Epsilon top tied with Crack Clan, like you said, throwed up because they lost that match against Epsilon. Followed by Revolution of the Meta game, which got a shock one there, but because Skidmark haven't played their game yet, it means that they could over they can uh, leapfrog Revolution, and I think because of games won, they might be able to, just looking. Uh if they win one if they win one map, they'll tie it. If they win both maps, they'll uh, take the third they'll take the fourth spot, but long way to go, and I think they've still gotta play each other Skidmark and Revolution, so yeah, I mean, think that's, that's definitely gonna, gonna be an awesome game. Well, I mean, when you look at it, Epsilon Crack Clan is going to be fantastic as well. Yeah, like, of course, you know, Epsilon are just completely the most favourable team to win. They haven't lost a game in almost a year, which is insane. That's just something that you don't see. So, I mean, of course they're going to be the most favourable, and of course so many people are going to be supporting them. So, I mean, you know, Epsilon kind of the favourable team to win out of Epsilon versus Crack Clan, you know. You kind of assume they're going to win. But I mean, I, I want that to be a really close game. I want Crack Clan just kind of step up, step up and be like, "Lol, let's go and let's let's change something." Because Epsilon not losing a game in a year, I I still find that baffling. It's just amazing how strong they are. Like, maybe one of the best teams in Europe we've seen ever. I I don't know. Well, hello, Shiny Knight. Tells you you've accepted someone's gift. Hello, thank you very much. I don't know why I've got notifications on TF2. I apologize for saying that, but just have some <laughs> to fun here. I mean. Let's look at this right now. I mean, they, they do have all six in, so I expect they'll be going live shortly. When we look at the, the teams, I mean, you do favour Epsilon, and like, where do we start? Like, do we try and find a weak link? Because there is no weak link. No, I mean, Epsilon just worked together great as a team. Like, we, we had a bit of a discussion about this before. Like, Numlock more than likely to top damage, followed probably by Mike, and just like, the, their entire team is so coordinated and can do so much as a team. If we go, on ahead, go ahead and head over to Skidmark Central, I mean, they have Kadus, they have Greg, and they just have some phenomenal players as well. So, I mean, whilst both teams have strong and awesome players, we, you just kind of have to favour Epsilon just because of how strong they are. Oh, the composition is just fantastic, and one thing I'm really looking forward to tonight, tonight we do actually have the team comps for Epsilon, and something I've never listened to, I've never listened to their team comps, and I'm really looking forward, if we get a chance, just to bring them up and just see exactly 
how it is because I don't I suppose they're now like a world oil machine they probably know each other for like three seasons long now but it'd be really interesting just to see exactly the difference and I mean especially for the lower division players who are watching when you realize you know they may call things differently they may say things differently but it's just just to see how they play it and you know how how it's done because also they may may panic you never know I mean we, this is a, 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 a what is it, PG-13 yeah PG-13 stream I'm gonna say it right now it's PG-13 and so they could be <laughs> we don't know what they're <laughs> gonna say probably a less more vocal than Crackland so no singing no what nothing like that but <laughs> uh, they are actually gonna be going live in about 90 seconds though fantastic that's fantastic to hear so predictions Epsilon, uh, I, I, I'm not going to say a score, I'm so awful at predicting scores, but Epsilon probably would be by quite a lot. And maybe 6-1, maybe? I was going to say 6-1, you read my mind. I, I feel that <laughs> skip marks will get something, but I do feel 6-1 could be what's going to happen. And it's a shame, really, because it's probably not the representation of how skip marks play. They might actually get a couple. We never know. But it just depends, really, because Epsilon is so damn good at even if people then start saying you're fanboying, I'm sorry, but when you just see the guys that are like some of the best players in Europe, you just gotta sit and sit back and just love watching them. It's just fantastic. And we are going live, so I am going to say good evening and welcome once again to Vanilla TV. This is ETF to World Week 5. In the blue team we have Skidmark Central, in the red team we have Crackland. I am Scully, with me is Hayden, and Hayden, please take it away. We see both gentlemen getting to that mid fight. We see the soldiers from uh, Epsilon just trying to get up onto this high ground, trying to dominate, push Skidmark back into their choke area. Greg actually goes down very quickly at that mid fight, mid fight as well as Flisco. So, I mean, that does actually look like Skidmark just losing that mid instantly and just having to fall back, really not feeling confident on trying to contest it. Just gear staying on the point, and it does seem like Epsilon is just going to uh, rush into second now. Yeah, I mean, Gear was just insane with those jumps right away. I mean, uh, before I could even finish the intro, he was there trying to contest Cadus. That's insane. They do pick up Dalif anyway, so it's going to be equal Ubers. And Killer for fun does go down, so it's going to be Ski Tree. He's going to have to use it on Great. Ubers get popped off straight away. Let's see what they're going to do with this. Not much is happening. Trying to focus the heavy. Heavy gets flashed straight away. Esselon will be complacent just to step back here and just allow them to recharge and go for something else. Yeah, we see Mike actually just trying to spam around this corner as well. The demo man, uh, Numlock, actually trying to walk in there, but he does get spammed out very quickly. Three players down, though, for Skidmark Central. Just getting one respawn, which was Keeler for fun. Or is it Keeler for fun? I, I don't know how to pronounce his Kyla. name. Kyla. Yeah, Kyla, right, that. Uh, so we see a couple players going down for Epsilon. Just the Medic and Bash up now. Bash going down, and I don't know where Nox is. I believe he got the hell out of there. Yeah, he is actually back at mid now, uh, picking up Numlock. So, I mean, Epsilon... The Ubers were about even. I mean, they didn't pick the medics right at the start, so it was very difficult for them to be able to push into that. It was just kind of going off momentum, but uh, Skidmark Central managing to push out, and it does look like Epsilon are going to try contest second. Great defense there by Epsilon, really. They just had the players up right when they needed them, so looking great again. Just trying to see what they're trying to achieve here with the mid, mid with the point here. They are going to try and put pressure onto the point. Cadus does clear it anyway, but there comes the rest of the spam. Is it going to be enough for them? It's not going to be enough, and it's going to be 1 0 to Epsilon. As we expected at the start here. Yeah, I mean, uh, we just kind of saw Epsilon, you know, trying to put that pressure on to that last point. They didn't really get it to work too well, so they fell back, regrouped, made sure that their team was alive, and then just re-pushed on it. And that's something that you see a lot from Epsilon, just looking extremely strong as soon as they need to be. Ski just building faster, which leads me to the idea, is he running crits? I just want to have a quick look. No, it is no, many isn't. guns, so Nox is going really slow here. But it is a really slow lo rollout here by Epsilon, but they have managed to just completely pin hold the skip box into a corner. And there's a scout behind trying to take down Skiji, does finally go down. And I think that was, who was that? I think it was uh, Shocky behind them, just taking out the damage. And just get Dallop and Greg left up, and they are going to get focused out. Greg goes down. Nice little wipe there. A lot of aggression after I, it felt like a slow rollout to them for me. It just felt really slow by Epsilon. Uh, it did feel like Epsilon was just, you know, taking their time to mid. And, uh, you know, just kind of waiting there. Got to mid, very nice, all healed up. And they got there, and it showed the aggression really paid off for them. And with about 90% uber advantage for Epsilon right now, we are just going to see the players just trying to get on to second. Trying not to lose anybody is probably the main thing that they want to be doing. You know, they don't just want to be throwing away players onto this point. They just want to grab this and possibly hold the uber for last. And it does look like Epsilon are going to be able to grab it, still with about a 50% advantage as well. Nice air shot coming in from Mike there, preventing that bomb. And it does seem like Epsilon are just going to rush into last now. 
Well, now they've lost Flitzko, that's a definite idea to pop in. Straight away, they pop the Uber, and Ski just nowhere near the Uber. Dalif gets picked, picked off there. Great's gone back to the heavy weapons guy. He gets picked off. There's nothing left they can do. What can Kaden do? Spam as much as he can. It's not going to do anything, and that's it. It's 2 0. Just, just, you know, we, we've been going for four minutes and it's already 2-0 to Epsilon. And it just kind of shows how the aggression from Epsilon and kind of their team coordination really does pay off. And, you know, I, I'd love to kind of just hear what they're saying and what they're thinking, thinking right now. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking that, so let's just go straight to it and let's see what they're going to be doing on this minute. Let's hear that. Okay, let's go for left. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. One side the night care. They're going ah. to come left side, step, back, step, up, back, step. Up, back 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 I will jump behind them, don't really want the to point. wait when they push in. Really great play there, I mean they, they, they lost out but they knew straight away that they were out of position and pulled back. But I'm loving the way they've got everybody right in the right position right now for this. And it's just not allowing skip marks to go in because they need a pick and skip marks just can't do it. Yeah, I mean, we see the Ubers are equal, and like, if if, if just one player from Epsilon does go down, that's going to be a distinct advantage. Oh. Mike going down, though, just as I say that, to a nice shotgun shot by Dallas right there. So, I mean, Skidmark Central, they have the advantage. They're pretty much prepared to push in. I do believe Ubers should be exchanged right now. There we go. We see both Ubers exchanged. Just kind of a lot of just standing around, not really knowing what to do, just kind of keeping the players alive and making sure the Skidmark Central don't take this point. Now, it does look like the guy is just going to be trying to get up onto that second point right, but he does actually have to fall back and even whilst Epsilon don't look as strong as maybe they'd hoped to be and maybe they're not really uh, prepared to fight back they're in great positioning so Skidmark Central just can't do anything they can't get to Epsilon yeah it felt to me like Skidmark are out of position when the Uber died they, they did not know what they wanted to do during that Uber I mean because of it they lost players and they've actually had to give up the middle point because of it they've kept the Uber charge it's gonna be equal Ubers they're, they're about equal, about 5%. But the aggression of Epsilon straight away, as you can see, there it goes. And there's the headshot on some knocks there, straight away by Greg. That is going to change it right now. All they're going to do is just get the scout off the point. They are able to fully one scout up, but look at the demo man there. Look at Dumbluck finally gets taken down from Kyla. And maybe they can push on that. And that headshot is crucial. And Greg, that is great. Yeah, Greg is the sniper there. Just proving why, you know, he's one of the best snipers in England. Great to see him again. Yeah, that was absolutely insane. Just, oh, Medic, you have a head? Yeah, it's gone now. And, and that's kind of the stuff that you'd want from Skidmark Central. Now they have a very large advantage. Nox is building uh, with Shocky right now, though. Uh, I did actually think it was a crit, but it's still a stock Medigun. And that's the aggression, and that's the kind of players you want in a decent team. Um, you know, they just... They just... Be, they, they use it! I'm, yeah, yeah, they use it really well. Skidmark Central just really managed to be able to do what they needed to do, grabbing that headshot very quickly and just be able to put themselves at an advantage that they can use now they had a massive uber advantage they didn't really act upon it which is kind of where some things could go wrong right now the uber was actually forced out of skidmark central and i don't really think anything's coming out of it i mean numlock went down bash went down he just took down a uh, gear the crates though it was the crates I, I thought they were just building very quickly so that's actually a crates but Epsilon almost wiped only Mike up. I believe Mike may go for a cheeky bomb, but I think he's just going to plan on uh, falling back and holding last. Yep. Yes, he is. I think he has to fall back, especially now the numbers are up. Can they put anything on the They can't rush onto this point because everybody's up. And Skidmark need to recognize this, and they have, but they have lost one player. And they are in danger of losing their Skidmark kit, but Skeech does get out. Meanwhile, Greg is still on that sniper rifle, so not much they can do while that's there. And Epsilon, wow, look at the aggression of Epsilon. They're just yeah, trying I mean, to see, sorry, are they still using, are they using medic gun? Yeah, I mean, Epsilon just had that, they weren't in the position to fight back, yet they still did it anyway. They pretty much wiped apart from Mike, and Skidmark Central just had the players up, but Epsilon still managed to hold it, and it just to show how and why they're such a great team, because even when they shouldn't be in the position to be able to do anything, they still do. Now, that aggression is really paying off because Bash... Sorry to interrupt you, I have no <laughs> idea why Skidmark did win such a great position with a 70% advantage and they just stay there and just allow, that was gear with a bomb, just allow gear in the bit in the air just to just fire rockets onto Skeech. 
I just don't get that. Whoa, okay, Greg. <laughs> Show what you, mean you can do. What you can do. Sure, you can't do anything else now. No. But that that's just really bad. I mean, I don't know if you saw that. Like, you had Skeej and you had the soldier. I don't know who the soldier was. I think it was Flisco. Standing right there by the entrance to the sewer, by the, uh, sewer room. And just did not want to go on it. With a great uber advantage, they just not go on it. And they just got bombed from it. And that's where Epsilon's going to punish you. You need to make take advantage of what you've got. And now, what was an uber advantage in their favor is now an uber disadvantage. And Epsilon's popped their roof just to try and pull in them out and capture this point. Yeah, I mean, it, it, that's just something that you shouldn't see. I mean, it seemed like the skin like central could have done a lot to prevent that. Like that bomb from, uh, I think, was it Gear that did that? That was insane. Uh, so we are going to see Epsilon's aggression still paying off and still being able to do something. They are getting onto the second point. A lot of Skid Mark Central is very weak though, so it does seem like they should be able to take a nice Misha onto Dalith there. Uh, but Bash does go down to Cadis' pipes and the Medic goes down! Uh, Nox going down to Greg's nice scattergun shot right there as well. And I mean, Epsilon, they used that aggression, maybe it didn't scout pay off for them that time. They haven't seen the scout, look at the scout, look at Shocky! They haven't seen the scout, and are they able to stop this straight away? Oh, Shocky! <laughs> With the Ash, with the little Ash meat shop there, and look at the advantage, look, straight away, Numlock, Mike, Gear, is that Gear, yeah, look at them, they're all up and they can contest it, because of that backup, and that has really helped the momentum, there was again, the momentum was, should be in Skidmark Central's favour, and it's in Epsilon's favour, because they're just, they're just casually choking. Yeah, I mean, Epsilon, they're just, they're just coming out on top. Any kind of situation you put Epsilon in, they just come out on top. Is that a, no, I thought that was going to be a crit from Skeech there. Uh, so, both still running Stock Medigun, uh, Nox is building as well. So, Ubers are around even. So, we should see, just kind of get a pick, push kind of play. But, I mean, if Epsilon just keep using this aggression that they've been doing for so long, maybe they won't even wait for a pick. And I know that kind of, kind of sounds a bit silly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just trying to see exactly right there. Oh, I don't know what happened there. I'm just trying to see what they could do because when you look at it, they've all got uber advantage. So I'm not exactly sure who's going to make the move right here. But when you look at it, Epsilon have got the, the brave, a bit more brave, and you can see that they want to go through computer room. Has anyone picked up the computer room push yet? I think they have. Yep. Just probably a little bit of bait there. That could have been disastrous. But I'm going to say, let's just see what Epsilon's going to do because it feels like they're going to push. So let's just get straight onto their comms and see exactly what's going to happen. Follow. Far left, yeah, it's better far left. We need you guys from far left. Okay. We're not in, guys, we're not in. Don't die. I'll stick a cinema. <coughs> Medic um, balcony took 50. Yeah. Devil took 70. I ran, baby. I can't cover you, Mike. Yeah, I can't cover yes. you. Okay. Wow. Uh, going back. Med going back. Med medic, medic, medic. Maybe not. Nice turn with Bash. Uh, right. Solder down, scout down, Dane, the scout's weak, no. 33 health left side. Demo, for, demo, 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 for, demo, for, demo, demo, then soldier. Demo, then sorry. Demo is 51. Demo is dead. Just scout. Oh, scout's going He's going far left, he's going far left, what's out? No. Wait, eh, I'm backing. I'm backing. Yeah, he's the last. That's one. Out the middle, he's the last. Let's go. Nice. Oh, nice. Let's push for a triple. Nice, Bash. Beautiful there. That was a nice little play there. I mean, I was a little bit concerned when they said, let's get back, let's back out, and they stayed in. But they were, they did manage, they don't get the second point, but they managed to just get a bit of an advantage, wipe out all the players, and they're all fresh up. So they've got a man advantage and, a, and only a 10% uber advantage. Yeah, and I mean, with Ke uh, Kyla down right now and only just respawning, it does seem like Epsilon's aggression is just going to pay off for them right now and just be able to grab this. And with about a 30% advantage, or 20%, sorry, uh, it does seem like they would actually be able to just use this advantage very quickly. It does look like they are uh, looking to push in through the lobby. Uh, we should really see something just kind of peeking around this corner, trying to do something. Still, the 15% advantage, if they can get that medic right now, it will just be crucial. Foxing down that heavy, though. And it does seem like the Uber from Skeech is about ready. There we go. It is used. But they are trying to get onto the point. It doesn't seem to be enough. Gear being pressured by the scout though. And he does get taken down. And it does seem like Epsilon are looking to fall out. They did lose two of their players. Even though the Heavy did go down. And uh, still, even if they do have to fall out, they can wait for respawns. Grab that Uber advantage and re-push in. And that is something that Epsilon is just famous for. Yeah, man. Oh, Dallas just gets taken down. If they lose that soldier, it's going to be more disaster for them. Greg does take down Numlock, so that's going to help them. They can't, they can't really spam this. Epsilon can't spam this. They're going to have to commit soldiers to jump. Watch for the first soldier to jump. He's not jumping if the scout comes straight away. They do capture the point. Now, what does Skiz Gizmark want to do? Do they want to go back? Do they want to just keep defending? They have made the right choice of going back. And to be fair, losing your scouts for that, questionable. 
but at the same time, you've prevented them pushing with Uber until now. What can Siege do? 96, he got hold off, and got this connected to 96. That's going to be it, surely. That should be all she wrote if they can't hold on to this. What is Gimas going to do? Is this going to be Kadis up a left, and it's going to be 3 0. Yeah, I mean, this wasn't as much of a roll as I thought it'd be, admittedly. I, I presumed Epsilon would be just, like, complete rolling them. But that was an absolutely astonishing round, something you don't really see very often. And Skidmark Central really putting up a very nice defense, though. Yeah, and you, you just look at the scores as well. Bash, 41 points. More than Skeech and more than Nox. And that's the two medics. So he's, he's outscoring the medics. That's a pretty big place there coming out by the Bash, by him and... What are they going to do right now? What are Epsilon going to do right now? They're going to stick to be passive. To oh, nice deny shot. the soldiers. And look at that. They denied any soldier from getting anywhere. And just picked off what they heard, had. And, and that's, that's a just feel like Yeah, it feels like deathmatch there, doesn't it? It just felt really clean and crisp. They all it almost felt like, you know, in football, when you're told you mark this player and you mark this player. It just felt like that to me. They just they had, had a personality. They were meant to see, keep an eye on. Committed to it. And there wasn't people throwing away... And not keeping eyes on everybody. Six men were on six people. That's what they needed. And it's Chris Creek straight away. Sorry to remember. It is Chris Creek. Took down Greg. They're not going to be able to do anything with this. Are they going to? I feel like they could no. be able to do it. Kadis goes down. Greg goes down. Goes down. Skeej going down as well. It's only Mike down for Epsilon. And that's another white. For Skidmark. And they're going to be able to make that 4-0 almost instantly. So we had a four, four minutes for 2-0. Ten minutes for 3-0. One minute for four minutes. Wow. <laughs> that, that, that's impressive that how they've managed to like just pick the game up after that 14, after that 10 minute round. Yeah, we are going to see Numlock getting pressured instantly by that soldier, you know, trying to box him down, but Shocky just gets on him and he's dead instantly. Greg trying to do a bit of work, trying to get behind focusing down Numlock, but he's on two health and he craters almost, but he does get finished up by a shotgun. And look at the kills going into the kill feed. Nobody from Epsilon is going down and it's just Skeege and Kyler up and they are getting pressured by the soldier and the scout as well and the demo man now they're all just chasing them back to last it's really just showing that epsilon's aggression is just paying off and their deathmatch skills are really working and now they're pressured back to last and does look like epsilon having that uber are pretty much prepared to push epsilon need to move it now because they know ski is close they popped it but no one's ready so they've wasted the uber ski on 90 keep an eye out on that bet on that uber charge there 95 96 what are Epsilon going to do? The Uber gets forced off. That's a questionable pop there because there was no one in the vicinity. But they do take down Shockey. Do take down Gear. Are they going to pick up another player? Yes, there goes Numlock. But there's Mike on the side taking Dallas there. And there's only, it's just one scout there just committed. But who's got to take up the American soldier? To some multi duo. No, it doesn't. Nox is on his own. A little bit of a questionable call there to go out there. Maybe just wanting to wrap it up a little bit quickly there. But they are still in this. And they do have their medics still in the Uber. Look, like the Ubers are equal. Yeah, the way if Nox had have gone down there, it would have been easily Skidmark Central pushing back out to mid. But the defense from Skidmark Central right there was absolutely phenomenal. The way they just kind of shut down anything, as you said, the Uber pop was a bit questionable. Not something that could have probably something you could have held on to. But either way, it did prevent them from put, uh, capping last. And they are actually going to be capping middle right now. We see both soldiers grabbing that height advantage, and Epsilon not really wanting con to contest this yet. But it may be a possibility that they want to push back into them. And yes, here they do. Comes, yeah, here comes the Uber straight away. Skeech did not get his chance. Is that a drop? Because someone told me if that was a drop. I knew he was close to that Uber. But they do take down Skeech. So if anything... Oh, come on, Nox. Nox is airstrikes away and survives. Now they have to commit to a back cap. I think they've got the back cap. They've got a soldier commit to the back cap while they do a forward cap. And the back cap's taken down. So it's just going to be Kyler up. And no, Kyler is this guy still behind. Just being a little nuisance. While they just cap middle and decide, you know what? Can we move on to middle second? No, we can't. They're just going to stay back. And just patience. Just a real nice patience there where they're not going to rush it. They know that they can take all the time. There goes Kyla. So if they want it, they've got a man advantage for 16 seconds. And I know it's one scout, but it's Kyla. And he is probably one of their best death matchers on their team for skin marks. Oh, easily. And I mean, Epsilon, with that advantage, they can use it. But it does seem like they are just going to build build that Uber real quickly with about 30% advantage as well. Surely they're going to go in. Shocky actually stood AFK, I believe. Or he's not moving on my screen, at least. Uh, so that is... Oh, no, he's moving again. Okay. So they're going through computer, you know, just spamming it out. Um, Skeege going down to almost 11 health with 100% Uber. And he's going to be Ubering back out. Wow. Sorry, he had to force that. I'm absolutely surprised that he had to he decide to pop that. 
but it's just him and Dalit on his own. Maybe a scout there do take down Nox, that's a key play. But they focused everybody just to kill that, and then scouts get onto the point. But here comes Cadence with his stickies, just putting down the spam he needs. He gets the kills he wants, and Cadence maybe not be up anymore. But I'm pretty sure that Dalit, Greg, and Kyla can finish this off. What can Gear do? Well, Gear, if you can do something right there, I'll tell you what, I'll buy you a beer at land. And oh my god, he takes down Blisco, I could be out of a beer here. No, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, crittering never really counts. Uh, but Nox is actually switching on over to the crit screen now. Epsilon playing those crits, and it does seem like they're wanting to contest this middle. Uh, it was, I believe, just a scout on there, and they are just going to be jumping on here, trying to deal a lot of pressure, not letting them grab that mid point. Now, uh, they are just going to be building the Uber as well, just trying to get there as quickly as possible. Skeej still running default medigun, though. Um, so, I mean, if Nox and Epsilon could just grab that Uber and rush in with that crit screen and take out the medic, then surely they'll just be able to roll straight onto last, or maybe even cap last. And it's about 20% away let's, from yeah, the let's Uber. Listen. Shall we listen? Because I could really let's listen yeah, to let's see what they're going to do. Oh, medic is on right, sir. Medic is on top get right. Get Use it. Oh wow, I fucking charged. Okay, that's good, Seb. Control three left. Let's keep pushing everyone. They're backing, they're all backing. Keep pushing, stick here, they're right, Seb. Vavi Bird. Not surprised, too bright. Vavi Bird, too bright. Vavi Bird, too bright. Vavi Bird, too bright. Vavi Bird, going back, Suze. Oh, such a bad crit. Just go back middle. Go back middle, go back middle. Keep charging the crit. Also down. Nice gear. I'm also behind them. Let's choke. Where? Left or right? Let's choke. I don't know. Let's choke, I think. Choke, choke, choke. Yeah, let's choke, let's choke. And Suze, someone maybe? I'm watching, I'm watching. Just, just all close. Water. We have another stage for I really like that one. I, I just like that. That's something you never hear in comms. Like, Numlock missed a sticky. I mean, you can see that clearly. He undershot that sticky. And straight away, the, the cool, just stay, just just keep focus set. Just just really great that, just to keep that. Here comes the crit anyway. Again, another fail, another whip crit. And he does take that Cadence and Dallas, though. At the expense of Nox is still alive. I don't know how. Does take down two kills and then Kyla goes down, but they are losing place. There goes Skeech finally. They have the numbers three versus two, but it's Nox and Gear and Shocky versus Frisco. Great, they might be complacent to take this. Great, low health right now. Are they gonna take anything? Maybe gonna go back in. I don't think that's gonna help. Here goes the soldier. There goes it. Gear comes and cleans it up. He says, I'm sorry, Shocky. You can't do it. I'll do it. <laughs> and uh, I, I mean, just the aggression from Epsilon, and going back to the comms that we just heard about how they were just like, oh, we messed it up, it's okay, we'll keep focus, and we'll keep going, and it's something, as you said, you don't see or hear very often, and I believe that's kind of why Epsilon are such a strong team, the chemistry that they have between the players, and just the players in general is insane. So we do actually see the heavy up on last right now, and actually the engineer as well by Greg, so we are going to see something interesting, hopefully. Uh, I believe Epsilon is still running Crits Creek, maybe a bit of a problem with the sentry, but <laughs> no one down gear getting taken out very quickly right there and uh, it does seem like epsilon are going to try fall out a bit this a little bit but maybe even try contest second a bit though uh they aren't at too much of a disadvantage no the fact that numlock mike geared up right about now means that really that uh, skip marks aren't going to push out i mean really when you look at it they had a century and they had a heavy which to me just screams defense 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 uh, but they are just trying to poke out a little bit i question the poke out but then Ski just got 95%. So if he doesn't drop, maybe they can do something. And you can just see that coordinated spam by Numlock as they go in. Take down Skier. Clear kick. Oh, a clear pick off. There comes the Uber straight away. Whoa, gets ricocheted. They are going to use the Uber to bully. I love the bully tactic right now. They are just going to use it. Bully everybody out. Take second. Brilliant little play there. Yeah, it was a very nice play from both teams. I mean, even though Epsilon is actually losing quite a few players right now, and uh, uh, Mike and Shocky going down, and Greg trying to get on this point, it still is both play great players by both teams, and they are really doing well. A lot of players going down for Skidmark Central, though, but a lot of players also went down for Epsilon. There was actually a crit used as well, but uh, I don't know how many people that actually got. I wasn't fully paying attention. I mean, like Let's pretend I was. Two. Yeah, I, I mean, it's so one or two. I think it was a panic crit. Because next to him, Gear did die. And I think that's one of the reasons why Nox had to pop that. So, but I mean, it kind of helped. It kept them in this. And one thing Bites always told me is that if you use crits, you can usually get an, you can usually get an advantage with the Uber. Um, but it's not worked for them because of how late they popped it. Maybe because Skeech popped the Uber so early, this is going to give it in Skeech advantage. I can't believe I'm seeing an Uber with an advantage against a Crits Creek. But it is happening, and really Skid Mark need to go on this now. 
Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've seen Epsilon, they've used about three crit screens now, and none of them have really done anything. It's all been kind of scare tactics, or maybe just getting a couple picks, and it's not really working. We did actually see the Uber coming in uh, from Skidmark, which I think was a bit questionable. Here I mean, we go. they didn't really do much. We do actually there see the crit screen coming in, though. That's Greg going down. We see the stickies landing underneath oh. his Flisco's feet. Very nice kills coming in from Nunlock using those pipes, just um, scaring people off the point. He's not letting them get it. He does actually step off of it, though, so Kader's just managed to capture. Taking down Kyler as well. He's going to be jumping in for the medic and the demo man, though, pressuring the demo into the corner. Demo gets focused down. Kader's is now down, and Skeegee's just left to run away by himself. He does actually find a soldier to protect him, though. Uh, but, I mean, Epsilon's aggression right there just really paid off. Man, I love Nox plays there. Air strafing to avoid any air shots when he was shoved in the air, keeping the Crit's Creek beam onto Numlock, and then he lands onto a pile of stickies and dies. Such a shame, really, because that was a great piece of survival. But at the same time, once again, Skidmark have the Uber ready before the Crit's Creek. So, basically, it's going to be like Skid. This is, I can see this as Skidmark and Uber, and then Epsilon will pull back and then crits, and nothing's happening, and I question the crits creep use, and maybe, yeah, Nox has actually gone back to Medica because of it. But yeah, again, I'm... look, Skidmarks don't know this, so they're just getting ready to defend the crits creep. Yeah, I mean, uh, as I said earlier, I mean, it just seems like a lot of failed crits creeps, and now they kind of had an opportunity to switch back, they are going to be using stock, which isn't something Skidmark is going to be prepared for, and they're just not really going to be able to handle it maybe as well as they would want to. Kyler going very weak right there, but he does manage to escape, and it is just a lot of spam coming in from computer right now, and they're just trying to get something done, but it doesn't seem to be enough. Flisco falling back to grab some health, and we see Cadis just uh, trying to sticky up the sewage doors. We actually saw two players, though, go down at Force Goodmark Central, uh, Kyler and Greg, and we see the Uber coming in from Cadis. He was just missing his stickies and pipes. And then the Uber comes in from Nox a little bit later, which means Epsilon is a massive advantage. Flisco going down, Dallas going down. That's going to be uh, just a lot of people going down there, as well as Skeej staying alive. But that's actually 5 0 to Epsilon. That is a fantastic 5 0 play by them from Epsilon. Man should just get the right gear going anyway. So we're going to just cut this off right now. We're going to take a small break because that's the first map. Second map is going to be by Dutch. We can't wait for some cough action. We will see you in about, I don't know, 90 seconds. We're going to play a couple adverts and then we'll be back with the stats for this game.